Welcome back to the channel and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a very very simple dress in Blender 4.3. Now it's not meant to be super fancy, it's just the absolute basic way of making a dress in Blender and I'm going to be using one of my own characters that I've rigged up. You can use whatever you want. Um, yours doesn't even have to be animated, mine just so happens to be but ideally you'd have your character kind of like in a T-pose and um, yeah so go ahead you know, grab a character, find one, make one. Um, but I will be uploading this finished result anyway to my Patreon down in the description below. For those of you on Patreon, will be getting that. And um, yeah, so let's jump in. And I really hope you guys enjoy learning how to sew a dress in Blender 4.3. Okay, as I've explained in the beginning, um, make sure you have your own character. Ideally, you'd have the character in a T-pose. If you want it to be animated, you could. In my case, like I said, mine is animated. Um, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure one way or another, you select your character, you're gonna go over to your physics tab and you're gonna make sure that you give it a collision. So you can see here, I've already added a collision to this. And if you then go to your modifiers, you should see the collision as a modifier. Now, if you do have an armature, it's always important that the collision sits underneath. So the actions of your armature happen first and then the collision follows. Okay, so you don't want the collision above that. Okay, so with that out of the way, we're going to make sure to go Shift A and in your front view, go ahead and add in a plane. And I'm going to go G, Z and move to plane. So it's sitting kind of roughly in the middle of the character here. With this plane selected, I'm going to go into edit mode. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure it's all active and you're going to go R, X, 9, 0 and you're going to hit enter. And then in your right orthographic view, you can go G, Y and move it forward like so. Now my case is a bit big, so I'm going to go S to scale it down as well. Then I'm also going to go over to my modifiers. I'm going to go add modifier. I'm going to click on search and type in mirror. I'm going to give it a mirror modifier. And then I'm going to go G and X and just move it over to the side in the front view. Then enable your clipping. And then you can go G, X and move it together and then they fuse together like so. So now these two are joined and they're being mirrored on the X axis which works for us in our front orthographic view. Now, so you can see what you're doing, you can come over here and enable your x ray like this, which is what I'm going to do. And with this dress, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my edge select option. I'm going to select this bottom edge. I'm going to go G and kind of move it out a little bit more here. I'm also going to grab this over here. I'm going to go G and kind of move it under the arms. About here, I'm going to go E to extrude up. And then R to rotate like so to kind of create a V over here. And then over here, hovering over the middle, go Control R and you should see a yellow line appear and then double click. We're just adding in a loop. Then select the second edge up here and in your front view, go R to rotate like so and place it about here like that. And um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press A to select everything. I'm gonna go S to scale it even smaller, G to move it in and up just a little bit like so. And then I'm going to select these two bottom edges. I might just bring them down to the waist a little bit. And then I'm going to go Control R. I'm going to roll the middle mouse button and just add in three more loops. So now you can see we have these sort of rough squares. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this edge and this edge. I'm going to rotate them slightly and then G to move them out to about here. I'm going to move this edge out as well. And this one over here, I'll kind of rotate slightly like so. And then um, with our vertex select option here, let's select this vertex and this vertex. Let's just go G and move them down a bit more like this. And then let's press A to select everything. Let's right click and go subdivide. And now we have a bit more topology here. Let's just kind of move these down just to create a little bit more of a collar. And I'm gonna just kind of slide these guys in over here, just towards the top of the dress. So it doesn't look as bulky over here. So just something like that. There we go. Maybe even a little bit more. So you can see this is the kind of shape we have over here. And then I'm going to select everything and I'm going to go right click and go subdivide again. And this time I'm going to go over with my little um, smooth tool here. I'm just going to go ahead and just drag the gizmo just to smooth it out. And then I'm going to select all of these bottom verts. 
and I'm gonna go E to extrude I'm gonna extrude them down and I'm gonna go to where the um, just below the knees kind of here in the middle of the legs and I'm gonna just grab these verts and I'm gonna space them out as evenly as possible as you can see over here once I have that done I'm then gonna come in here I'm gonna go control R and I'm gonna roll the middle mouse button just to add in a few segments to get it all kind of more roughly square like this okay it's looking really good so I'm gonna go over here now and toggle off the x-ray okay and you can see all these little blue lines that's the normal directions so to see that you're gonna come up here to your mesh edits and you can come over here and just enable the normal so we want to enable this one here and we want to be able to see that these blue lines are kind of pointing outwards if they're not in your case if they're pointing the other way for example like this don't worry about that, we'll sort that out later anyway. Um, because that is gonna matter with the final result. One way or another, let's get back into the front view. Um, what we're gonna do is, I guess we could press A to select everything. We're gonna go E to extrude and extrude it back till it sits at the back of our character like this. Then we're gonna go over to our face select option. And over here where the opening of the arms is, we're gonna just select all of these faces over here we're going to go X and we're just going to delete those faces. And then over here where the neck is, the opening of the neck, we're going to select all of these faces and go X and delete those faces. And then we're going to go ahead and where the bottom is, we're going to select all of these faces over here. As you can see, just the bottom ones, we're going to go X and delete those faces. And now we can go and let's go into our right orthographic view. Let's go into wireframe and then just select all of these faces in the side, the ones that are left. And this time we're gonna go X, but this time we'll actually go and do the option for only faces. That way we're leaving the edges behind. Now we can press A to select everything. And you can see these normals are facing inwards. So you wanna go Alt N and we wanna go recalculate outside. And now all the normals are pointing out and that's gonna make the simulation work properly. It's very important when it comes to the collision physics in Blender's simulation engines. Okay, so this is just a very basic dress at the moment. So let's just test it by going back into object mode. Where our character already has the collision. So we're gonna make sure to select the dress now. It's always important to save. Then go over to your physics. Give it a cloth. Make sure you're on frame one. And in my case, I'm gonna scroll down over under the physics here. And I'm going to go all the way down to the collision. And so the dress interacts with itself, not just the character. You're going to enable this option here called self collision. So now if you go to frame one and you hit the space bar, you can see that's what happens. Now in this case, um, I forgot to enable the sewing feature. So let's just go back to frame one. It's not a big deal. Go back over to your physics and simply go up to the shape. And under there, you're going to see the sewing option just enable that and then give it a sewing force i'm going to go with 17 as my starting number just to see how that works then going back to frame one let's hit the space bar and now it actually sews so in this case my character is animated so it's kind of going along with the animation but you can see this is a very simple dress now i'm going to select the mesh i'm going to right click and go shade smooth and i've just hit the space bar to pause but you can see the quality here is very low so the way to fix that is to go back to frame one. With your dress selected, go over to the side where your physics are, under your physics tab. Let's give it 20 in the quality steps. And then let's also go down to the collision and let's give it five steps over here. Make sure to save and then starting at frame one, hit the space bar. And now you're gonna have a much nicer looking result. So for now, I'm gonna pause this Okay, before the animation goes too far. And another thing we can do to make this look really cool is go over to our physics or our modifiers, I guess. We have the dress selected. Minimize these and then go add modifier, search and type in solid. Give it a solidify. Like so. And you can give it a little bit of inward thickness. And then go add modifier, search and type in sub. And then give it a subdivision surface. Now your dress is looking really nice and smooth and it's got a little bit of thickness to it as well. Now in this case, this dress, um, the reason we haven't added more details is because we wanna play around with it before we go too far with details. So let's go back to frame one. 
And a really cool thing about this method that I've showed you today is that you can now actually tab into edit mode as long as you're in frame one here. And you can always come and then grab your proportional editing if you want to, go to your vertex select option. And now, for example, I wanna make a change here. I wanna bring this down a little bit over here at the front, like this. Make it a little bit more like that. I'm gonna tab back out. And from frame one, I'll hit the space bar. And I just want a little bit more of a V kind of neck happening here. And that's working, as you can see. But I wanna push that even further. So what I might do is I might just delete these three verts at the top. And I might just bring this vertex in here. And I'm gonna hit K to get the cut tool and just cut across from here to here. And yes, I know that makes a triangle, but in this case, I'm not really too worried about that. Um, yeah, so now I'm gonna go back out. I'll go to frame one, hit the space bar. Okay, nice. So that's more what I kind of had in mind, a little bit more of a slope over here. Um, yeah, so let's grab the dress. Let's go over to our materials. Let's go new, and I'm gonna call this cloth. And I'm just gonna to go to my viewport display for now, just so I can see, and I could give it a kind of a reddish color. Might bump up the roughness. This is just for the viewport display. Then I'm gonna go plus and go new, and call it cloth two. I'll tap into edit mode. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna to go to my face select option and in the x-ray mode, I'm just gonna select a strip in the middle here of faces, like so. So in the front and in the back, and I'm gonna go X, and I'm gonna dissolve only the faces. Then I will select this bottom half, like so. I'm gonna click on a cloth two and assign that. And then under the viewport display, I might make it, I don't know, let's go with kind of like a different kind of color. Let's see, maybe orangey. Tab back out, go to frame one, I'm gonna hit the space bar. And now you can see um, we've got these two different segments to the dress, okay? Now the reason we didn't just add the color and we actually removed material here in the middle is so it kind of creates a seam, an area where it kind of folds together like this, okay? And that's it, so now we've made a very simple dress in Blender. Now, obviously you could um, finesse this a little bit more. You could come in here at any point and if you need to, you can make slight adjustments to the mesh where you feel you need to make the changes. But this tutorial was not about making a super fancy dress. It was more just a beginner's introduction. So yeah, this is a dress in Blender 4.3. If you ever wanted to bake this into the blend file, you just select a dress, go over to your physics tab, then just go down to your cache. And in this case, I might want to cache 120 frames. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bake it. And here is the final cached result, as you can see. Now I've only done 120 frames. If you wanted to go longer, you could, and you can see in this case, the dress kind of stops here. Um, but yeah, so I'll just make this 120. This is just my specific setup. So I will be uploading this finished result to my Patreon. You can check that out in the description. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.